Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching my channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification. When you hit that and when I upload my videos, you'll first be notified. If you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. If you like what you see, please hit the like button down below and please share with a friend. I always appreciate a growing audience. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. I'm gonna answer a question about a type of magnesium that is phenomenal for brain health. Now, before I go further, there are over, I'm sorry, there are nine different types of magnesium, so do your research on which you want the magnesium to do, because if you get the wrong magnesium. So, magnesium L3 and 8, phenomenal for brain health. Now, magnesium, I always say magnesium is, phenomen is a phenomenal mineral because it, it has over 300 functions throughout the body system. So basically, I always say magnesium to the body is like oil to a car. So when you have inflammation, poor diet, stress, poor learning, what's happening when you have that inflammation, it burns off the magnesium. Just like if you go fast in your car, you're gonna burn out more oil. The thing about magnesium l 3 is that it's very, very powerful. Why? Because we have a protective barrier over our brain called the blood-brain barrier. And this magnesium will cross that blood-brain barrier for quicker absorption. So the benefits in no particular order that I'm gonna talk about. One, improves memory. How does it improve the memory? Because it strengthens the neurons in the hippocampus. Now the neurons, those are the nerve cells, okay? And the hippocampus in the brain, it, the hippocampus provides us, actually is part of our short-term memory and long-term memory. So what it does, it strengthens the neurons in the hippocampus, which in turn enhances the learning process and makes learning a little bit easier as well. Why? Because it increases the density of the synapse. So we have the neurons, which are the nerves, and in between the nerves, we have these junctions called synapses. So what it does, it increases the density of the synapse, makes those synapses stronger. In turn, it's gonna increase the communication connections between the brain cells. Now what happens when you have a magnesium deficiency, let's say due to stress or anxiety or a poor diet, What's gonna happen is that you're gonna have the loss of that synaptic activity, and then this is where you get brain shrinkage and cognitive decline. Which brings me down to the next one. Studies have shown that it prevents Alzheimer's. Now Alzheimer's, we get Alzheimer's, why? Because you have a buildup of what's called amyloid plaques and tau proteins on the hippocampus. Remember the hippocampus is involved for what? Memory. Okay, and it also works with our prefrontal cortex, the free prefrontal cortex, a part of the brain here, which deals with cognition. So it decreases amyloid plaques that build up in the hippocampus and also the prefrontal cortex, studies have shown. Also too, anxiety. I suggest L3 and 8 for anxiety for a lot of my patients. Why? Because when you have anxiety, those synapses, okay, the nerves are close to threshold. So what this does, it strengthens the nerves, so which turn, it lowers the threshold. So it actually makes the body kind of return to normal when you're dealing with anxiety. It improves sleep. Why? Magnesium, one of the functions that magnesium does, it de-stresses the body. Remember, what does it do? It lowers anxiety. It de-stresses the body. Magnesium calms. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna reduce the stress response because remember, when we're stressed out, Magnesium to the body is like oil to the car. When we're stressed out, we burn off a lot of magnesium. So it improves street, sleep because it reduces the stress response, which in turn will increase our melatonin and serotonin, which are two natural calming hormones. So in summary, by increasing levels of magnesium, you're in turn, especially L3 and 8, it's going, you're gonna get a younger brain. Now, the one thing about magnesium that I must stress out is that it does calm the body. Okay, it's like the brakes, it's like the brakes of the system. So by taking too much magnesium, okay, you can, you know, be calm and maybe fall asleep. Also, magnesium, since it does calm the body, how much magnesium should you take? I always suggest, again, take magnesium until it's called bowel tolerance. When you take magne too much magnesium, you may have loose stool. So overall, 
my the dosage that I start I always recommend to start off with, okay, max dosage is 1800 milligrams. I suggest take 600 milligrams in the morning and then 1200 milligrams at night before bed if that works for you. However, if you have loose stool or diarrhea or you're just getting too calm or tired, then let's reduce it by half. So in the morning, have 300 milligrams of l 3 8 and at nighttime, have 600 milligrams before bed and see how that works. So again, magnesium l 3 8 Phenomenal. There's over there again. There's nine different types of magnesium. Do the research. I like this for brain health. There's magnesium citrate. There's magnesium, magnesium glycinate for other things too. So, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please share with a friend. Please leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, I do answer them. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.